Hello everyone, I am Jazz Chapman. This is Jazz Chapman TV. And today we're going to be talking about the best investment apps for beginners. So, before we get started, I just wanted to uh, tell everybody to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It will help me a whole lot if you did that. It will help the YouTube algorithm. It will help it be seen by others. And I will greatly appreciate that. And while you're at it, go and hit that subscri subscribe button and that notification bell. So, first off, I wanted to mention PayPal Prepay MasterCard. So, if you have not gotten pre uh, PayPal Prepay MasterCard, this is great for people who may not have a checking account. Or if you are one of those people that always overdraft, we'll work on that. With PayPal Prepay MasterCard, you cannot overdraft. And so if you want to go ahead and sign up, you can find the link to PayPal Prepay MasterCard in my description box. And once you deposit $40, then you can get a credit of $20 just by using the link in my description box. Okay, so the first... uh investment app that we're going to talk about today is acorns so acorns is great for beginners because um they charge a flat monthly fee instead of of course a commission but this is the this is depending on what kind of features you get and i believe these fees are from like a dollar to three dollars a month and acorn is basically how you set it up is you can attach your debit card to acorns and every time you make a purchase it will round up that dollar amount and then it will send it over to acorns and once it has reached to at least five dollars then it will start investing for you and you can set it up on what kind of uh type of investments that you want whether that is aggressive or conservative or kind of in the middle there acorns will allow you to do it it's also good for beginners because it basically picks the investments for you. If you don't want to, you don't have to be reading about which kind of stocks and stuff that you want to invest in. Acorns will invest automatically for you. So the next uh, investment app that we're going to be talking about today is Stash. So Stash is, in a, good, is a good investment app for beginners because um, just like Acorns, they have like a low flat monthly fee. But Stash is also big on education. It teaches beginners on how to learn about the fundamentals of stocks. And also, it invests based off of your own personal interest that you end up filling out on the app. So much like uh, Acorns, Stash is not uh, individual stock investing. Stash will automatically invest stock for you invest in stock for you so the last beginner in investing stock that we're going to talk about today is robin hood so i had already did my review on robin hood just yesterday so if you want to go and check that out you can go and find the link uh down below in the description box to my robin hood so robin hood is a great investing app because Robinhood allows you to invest into fractional shares. So if you're a person who may not be starting with a lot of money, you can invest with as little as a dollar into a company like Amazon or Tesla, companies that have that cost a little more to invest in. You can invest in Robinhood with fractional fractional shares. Um, it's also it's zero dollar commissions. There is a zero minimum. There is a zero minimum to maintain your account. And also, this is most important. Their interface is so clean. It's so easy to try to understand and get. It's about as simple as you can get with Robinhood. So, Robinhood also has their concerns. Um, also, it's a customer service concern. But like I said, you can go and check that out. Uh, about the pros and the cons more so on my review of Robinhood. Although Robinhood may have its imperfections, it's still a great investment app to start off with. All right, guys, so that's it for uh, this video today on the best investment apps. If you want to see a part two on best investment apps for beginners, 
then go ahead and comment that down below in the description box. If you're new to this whole thing, then let me know down below in the description box. So if you've already been kind of, you know, getting your feet wet in this, then I want to know which apps that you have already tried to use and how you feel about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, hit that thumbs up button. It will help the YouTube algorithm. Appreciate you. And we'll be back here every day of nonstop November. Take care. Bye.